The Business Self Development Books 2021 category finalists are Connect by Guy Lubitsch and Tammy Lubitsch White, published by FT Publishing. Improvise by Max Dickens, published by Icon Books. Love Your Imposter by Rita Clifton, published by Kogan Page. Soft Skills, Hard Results by Ann Taylor, published by Practical Inspiration Publishing. The Monday Revolution by David Mansfield, published by Practical Inspiration Publishing. And Unlock Your Career Success by Christine Brown Quinn, published by Rethink Press. So, to present this award, I'd like to head over to Chairman of the UK's largest network of independent tax advisors, Mr Bookmark Lee. Hello. I'm Mark Lee, and I am thrilled to be announcing the winner and runner-up of the Business Self-Development Book in the Business Book Awards 2021. Together with my fellow judges, we were unanimous both as regards the winner and the highly commended book. In time-honoured fashion, highly commended first. Our highly commended book was Improvised by Max Dickens. Has a wonderful subtitle, Use the Secrets of Improv to Achieve Extraordinary Results at Work. And we believe that this is such an engaging, fun book to read that it'll be truly of value to anybody who chooses to use it and to recognise the value and benefit of uh, using the skills and talents of improv at work. Unfortunately, we can't get Max on at the moment. Hopefully, we'll have that sorted in a bit of a jiffy, but let's move on and find out who the winner is. Mark, who's the winner? The winner of the Self-Development Business Book of the Year 2021, it is Soft Skills, Hard Result by Anne Taylor. This is a fabulous, worthy winner of the award. We were unanimous in recognising the tremendous value that this book delivers to anybody in business who needs to appreciate, which is everybody in business, needs to appreciate the value and importance of what the author calls soft skills. I, I call them key business skills. Either way, they are invaluable. And the book is so well written and easy to read it's a truly worthy winner. I'm really excited to have won this award. Thank you very much. It's such an honor. There's a lot of people I'd like to thank too. Firstly, I'd like to thank my coaching clients, those in both my one-on-one -on -one executive coaching business, as well as the participants that attend our leadership development programs. Thank you for what I learned from you, for allowing me to be part of your journey and for helping me develop and be a better coach and a better person. Secondly, I'd like to thank those clients that allowed me to use their experience as case studies in the book. Thank you for sharing your learning and your wisdom through your journey so that other people can learn from you. I appreciate you sharing those anonymously. I'd like to thank the early readers of those draft versions of the book. Your feedback, your comments, your opinions made it a better book. And for that, I'm truly grateful. I'd like to thank Practical Inspiration Publishing and especially Alison Jones. She's been with me on this journey from the start and I've appreciated her support, her challenge and her compassion. So thank you. And I'd also like to thank all of the authors of the business books that I've read. You've informed me in both the work I do and the life I lead. Thank you very much. The reason I wrote this book was for those leaders and managers who are already successful. They're task driven, analytical and logical, and they could benefit from being more motivating and inspiring and this book is for them. It's been part of my journey. It's been part of my client's evolution. And I hope that readers get the most out of it for themselves. I do have a fundamental belief that when leaders, and in fact, all people 
are emotionally intelligent, the business, the results, and the relationships are better. Outcomes are better, and people have a much more enjoyable experience. Thank you to the Business Book Awards for making this all happen. I really appreciate this award and all the support.